What is going on everybody? Back at it again with another YouTube video. And Howie Roseman is starting to make moves that the Eagles desperately need and moves that I really like to see. So to start everything off, a little, uh, maybe like two, three hours ago, the Eagles signed their first linebacker. Obviously they have, you know, other linebackers on the team still, but we needed more bodies. And you obviously knew that. With the departure of Camus Grugier-Hill and Nigel Bradham, who Bradham is still a free agent out there, so I wouldn't be surprised if somehow, some way, he ends his way back up into an Eagles jersey for the next season. I don't know anymore, just because of the signing that Howie just made, and it is now official. I don't know the numbers on any of the deals that were made today, but the Eagles signed a linebacker, Jatavis Brown, to a one-year deal from the LA Chargers. He's 5'11", 221 pounds. He's a little undersized for, you know, being a linebacker, but he's a 25-year-old speed, like, physical linebacker, 187 solo tackles, four and a half sacks, and three forced fumbles. He was a fifth-round pick in 2016 from Akron. And, you know, a one-year deal really doesn't hurt much. It really doesn't hurt at all. So I'm really not too, you know, worried about it just because of the fact that the Eagles also don't, you know, they also don't look to get linebackers as much as other teams. They don't use them as much, and they're not like a desperate need every season. We kind of change them almost every year. I mean, Jeremiah Trotter was one of the best linebackers that we've had in a while. And, you know, we just really don't use the linebacker position as much as we do. Or as much as other teams do. But it's whatever. We did sign one. He's 25 years old. He's very physical. I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really know who he was. Just like Gerard, uh, not Gerard Avery. Just like Javon Hargrave. I don't watch their games, and I didn't, like, hear anything about them. And, you know, he did lose his starting spot. He only started, like, half the games that he's played in. But, you know, he's young, he's fast, he's strong. And, you know, they used him a lot for special teams last year, the Chargers did. And, you know, he's definitely, I think he's definitely going to play the role of a Camus Grugier Hill, like, that we just had. Linebacker, also plays special teams. And, you know, maybe down the line he could be one of the leaders because Camu was a he wore the he wore a captain's patch. I mean, guys like that. We always have that one special teamer that you know really you know takes a step. We had uh, Chris Maragos. Obviously, Camu Gouge Hill wore it last season. So I mean, guys like that always good to have on the team. And he's young, twenty five years old. He's you know, going into his fifth season now with the Eagles, it's really not that bad of a signing. I'm sure it wasn't more than like three million dollars. I'm sure he probably got the same deal that Cam that Gruje Hill got with the Dolphins, just because of they have played special teams more than they played linebacker in their careers. Now this signing was very good news, and I was. Very happy to see it pop up on my phone from Adam Schefter. Will Parks and the Philadelphia Eagles agree to a one-year deal. He's a defensive back, and he's played corner. He's played free safety and strong safety. So he's very he's a very versatile you know, defensive back that can play anywhere in the secondary. Very good signing for the Eagles. He's a Philly native. 6'1", 194 pounds. He's also 24 or he's 25 years old also. You know, the difference is Jatavis Brown just turned 25 like 30-something days ago. And Will Parks turns 26 in like 90 days or something like that. So, but still, very young, you know, fast. Can play multiple positions on the field, you know, with the secondary. Because obviously we have struggled with secondary for a while. We just got our best cornerback since Asante Samuel and Darius Slay. So we're we're really beefing up the defense with free agency and I'm 
I'm almost 100% sure that we're going to be targeting guys like Henry Ruggs and Justin Jefferson and guys of that nature in the NFL draft, which takes place in almost a month. So can't wait for that. Will Parks, though, four interceptions, two forced fumbles, 13 pass deflections, 104 solo tackles in his career. He was a six-round pick from Arizona and, again, Philly native. He actually turned down more money from the Lions to come back to Philly and play for his hometown team. I'm sure that definitely played a big role in his you know, signing. And also, the Lions really aren't going to win anything this season. And the Eagles have a chance to you know, make some noise in the playoffs. They can get hot at any moment. And a couple more moves or a couple more key guys come on this team. And 100% we can be in that title contention that we were chosen to be in last season. We kind of fell off. But, you know, injuries really hurt us last season. And now the biggest news of the day. Nelson can't catch Aguilar is now on the Las Vegas Raiders. You know, he signs a one-year deal with the Raiders. And, you know, you really can't be mad at it. I'm not mad at all. I wanted Nelson. I didn't want Nelson Aguilar. We were we owed him $13 million, and now we don't. So that's very good. Get that. Make it towards a guy like if you can get your hands on Yannick Ngakwe or if you can get your hands on Jadavion Clowney. You know, you could throw that $13 million to them. Also, if you trade like a guy like Alshon and you move him to get like a pick or something like that, or if you move him into the trade to get Ngakwe, you know, it could really help this team a lot. Because I think if Yannick Ngakwe is on this team by the start of the season, I think the Eagles have a legit shot to win the Super Bowl. Just because of how dominant that defensive line is. We don't need, you know, the front seven that everybody needs. We have our corner. We have our secondary now that we have, you know, Parks. I think he's only going to get better as time goes on. You know, he's very young. He's still only 25 years old. Playing in front of, you know, since he's been in the league, the Broncos haven't been great. I mean, they've been decent, but they haven't been the greatest. So I really do believe that Will Parks is going to take a big step next season. I'm hoping, and I also do think, you know, playing in front of your home crowd is a dream come true. Obviously, I'm sure he was an Eagles fan growing up. Might, maybe not. I don't know. But, you know... I think coming back home plays a big part in his decision on why he decided to come to Philadelphia to play for the Eagles. But back to Aguilar, I mean, it's great getting him out of here. It is. You can't have a guy like Aguilar. He's the most streaky wide receiver I've ever seen in my life. He's good one game. He's awful the next. I mean, the amount of games this guy might have cost us is ridiculous. I still can't get over the fact... Every time I think of Nelson Aguilar, I think of that dropped pass, that absolute dime from Carson Wentz in week... What? Week two? Three? It was week two against the Falcons. Absolute dime from Wentz, and it goes right through his hands, and then he blames it on the the lights. This man has more excuses than anybody that I've ever met. He He takes things as a joke, and it really... You know, he's a good dude. I'm not going to say he's not a good dude, and I'm not going to say he doesn't have heart, but, you know, a guy like that really just isn't good. He's not good. He, he's not. And to get him out of this system and to get him away from the Eagles, good. Good. Go to Las Vegas. They aren't playing for anything. They have a bunch of... They just don't. They just don't have what it is, what it takes to win. They're signing guys like Aguilar, like Jeff Heath, like Witten, like Malik Collins, like Marcus Mariota. They're signing all these guys. They just signed a a running back. I forget his name. But, you know, get Aguilar out of here, and I'm glad he is. Now it's time for Alshon. I don't hate Alshon. I didn't hate Aguilar. He just wasn't good. Alshon's good, but he's just really, like, he's slow. And is not helping the team anymore. Alshon Jeffrey has... He can't stay healthy and he's always too slow to run the routes that Wentz needs him to run. 
So, you know, get rid of Alshon, throw him in a trade somewhere, get get a pick, get or throw him in the trade for Yannick and Gakwe. I've heard rumors that we offered or that we might offer Alshon and a 2021 first rounder and maybe another mid round pick either this year or next year for Ngakwe. I would do it just to get Alshon's contract out of here. And then you can have a 24-year-old pass rusher who's an absolute stud, who's an absolute beast, beefing up that defensive line. The trenches are going to be something so scary if we can get Yannick Ngakwe. You have Ngakwe, you have Graham, Fletcher, Hargrave, Malik Collins, Derek Barnett. You have these guys, and they would just fit so perfectly together. It would be Beautiful. It would be so nice to have a a guy like Ngakwe on this team. It really would. So, my overall thoughts on, you know, the signings and the departure of Nelson Aguilar. Aguilar getting out of here. Again, great move by the Eagles to not re-sign him. Thank God. Will Parks, I mean, I've said it in like the past three, four videos that I did want Will Parks and, you know, we did sign him. It's a one-year deal. I think we're going to, I think we're going to give him a better contract, you know, later on during the season if he's playing well. If he's playing well, you could just throw him a contract and he'll sign. Jatavis Brown, you know, I'm not expecting too, too much from him. He's a, he's a young, fast linebacker. We don't need line, like, we just don't use them. We don't value a linebacker as much as other teams do. He could be a good special teamer, sure, but he's a good linebacker for this team just because of probably for whatever his contract is. I'm sure it's little. I'm sure it's a small amount for his contract, and you know you can you can get him on the special teams and you can get him on you know just another body out there. You have Nathan Gary, you have T.J. Edwards, you have guys like that, but to get another body out there like Jadav. Jadav- Jatavis Brown, sorry, I, I don't know what just happened right there. To get a guy like Brown, you know, definitely helps with this team. And man, Howie, work your magic because this isn't this is the type of players that we get. We get guys like Will Parks and Jatavis Brown. You know, we get we don't hit on the home runs in free agency. We just haven't done that much. So getting guys like this, it's always good to beefing up that defense, get bodies, get some depth, and, you know, go into the season with new faces, getting younger, like Howie and Doug Peterson both said at the end of their press conference, you know, at the end of the season, they're getting younger, and they're getting more on the defensive side. I I can't wait until the draft, you know, I, I, I hope... We can get Henry Ruggs if we can either trade up or just get him. It's whatever. I, I just want Henry Ruggs or, you know, a guy like that. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Eagles son Tavis Brown and Will Parks to a one-year deal. And Nelson Aguilar is now a Las Vegas Raider. Thank you all for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Keep hitting that subscribe button button the road to 300 is already started you know we hit that two days ago we're already at the 203 let's try to hit 205 207 today you know thank you all for watching i'm out peace